Hey there, Cancer. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of March 20th. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome astrologers and readers. But this week, I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently spread-wise, so I'm going to break it down into sections, and your first section is finance. You have the Nine of Diamonds here as your first card. Very good card for money, of course. Represents new money cycles and new changes in money cycles as well. You might have noticed even recently how some of you may have gone through a dip in your finances, but just know that it will be coming right back up this week. Even even in your uh, general section here, you have uh, some very good money cards as well. So I think money will pick right back up. But again, this can represent an ending of cycles. Sometimes brings a dip in our finances, but it usually just goes right back up uh, just because there's changes and things like that going on. It can also represent new jobs, new businesses, opportunities to travel as well come up with this card, and opportunities to travel for uh, business come up here as well. Next, you have the Jack of Hearts, which is you, showing up here in your the area of finance. So definitely a very strong week for you probably this week. I'd say mostly on a, a mental level, having ideas, especially if you have business ideas or anything like that. Also great for new investments. Again, if you're retired and you invest money, uh, even if you're not retired, if you invest money, this is a good card for coming up with new ideas for new types of investments. Even uh, great for like spotting trends, spotting new trends in the area of finance where maybe you can invest some money. So pay attention to your money making ideas. Next in the area of love, we have the Seven of Clubs. This is, can be a card of trying to escape from a relationship, trying to relate, to leave a relationship. Some of you may have gotten into a relationship and you're not happy anymore or you just don't like it anymore or whatever. Uh, again, not a bad card because, again, this is you making the decision to leave a relationship or start something new. Uh, and, uh, again, it's a card of action, so usually you do with this card. Uh, if you're not in a relationship, this can be you trying to get one. It can be you trying to escape being single. So, again, you could be taking actions to become not single, basically, at this time. Next, you have the Ace of Spades, again, in the area of love. And uh, Ace of Spades is a card of transformation, transforming into something new. I would say all water signs, uh, especially during this retrograde and, you know, happening in Pisces, I think all water signs are kind of uh, looking at what they want in relationships, what they want people to look like in their relationships, all, all those types of things. So I do think there is a lot of transformative energy. This is a good card of victory as well, especially if you've been single for a while. I would say probably, probably no relationships coming in right now, but definitely can represent victory in the future, getting into a relationship that really makes you happy. Next, we're going to look at uh, general advice here, and we start off with the Ten of Diamonds. Very good card, again, for money. Could be a very good money week for you, or at least ha kind of the beginnings of starting something financially that are that's very successful. Again, also a great card for travel and moving, and even traveling for business. You have uh, two, two travel cards, so could be a great time for that. Uh, great card for networking and uh, asking people around you for even help financially i would say m maybe mostly close family members or even people you work with maybe again maybe not directly asking them for money but maybe asking people for ideas especially if you're in business this is a great card for asking for for just help as in like other people's ideas helping you to get ahead in your business maybe they see something you don't it's a great time to bring bring someone like that in uh also again if you own a business this is a great card for doing things like surveying and, and polling or getting ideas from your customers so if you do happen to have customers now is the time to do it with this card uh and um yeah that's that next we have the king of clubs a very good card for authority and dealing with authority so if you're dealing with anything involved in the government or court or uh, even a boss this is a great card for that it allows you to communicate with those people on a very high level also a great card for you you becoming the authority you trying to step up into some sort of authority like position at work or maybe even just in your own personal life and finally we have the five of hearts this can represent jealousy from people around you i'd say this is maybe your one challenge this week is uh just needing to ignore the people who are maybe jealous of you or jealous of your situation i think it's because maybe things again are are improving for you and whenever i see a nine it's a good good card of improvements but it, nines and fives together can definitely represent other people kind of um being jealous or putting their own stuff on you because things are getting better for you. So definitely it's just jealousy to be ignored, but it looks like a great week. So thank you for watching.